In March 2002, Google launched a service called Google News Search as a response to the increased number of searches for news items relating to 9-11. What started out as a news portal, aiming to collect stories from multiple news sources, by now has become a highly personalized news feed aggregator. Throughout the nearly 10 years of the service, several changes have been made to the interface, such as changing the layout, adding or removing certain features or buttons, or a complete redesign of the interface. These changes are all important because they indicate a certain way that Google would like its users to navigate on the site, and in a larger context, they imply a way that news will be consumed on the platform. This project focuses on two emerging trends. These are the increasing efforts to offer personalized content, and the other one is the gradual prompting of users to look for real-time, as opposed to archive news stories. After the site's initial launch in 2002, the first step towards personalization was made in 2004 by introducing a rolled-on menu to choose from different country editions. Soon after that, in 2005, the option to customize the page appeared in the top right corner. By clicking on it, users could rearrange the layout of the page delete default sections or create new custom ones. In the end of 2005, the Customize this page label was changed to Personalize this page. In early 2006, a new feature appears. Users are encouraged to sign in in order to get recommended stories by using search history. At the same time, a new section is added in the menu called Most Popular. This could be a move to counterbalance the effects of personalization, since most popular stories are probably important too. In early 2008, however, recommended and local news become default sections just under the top stories. A bit more than a year later, the button to personalize the page is removed and instead an Edit this page link appears in the top right corner. A few months later, adding a section gets its own button too. In 2010, the Edit this page button disappears. Location is now automatically detected, providing the user with local news and information. A menu point is added for the area the user visits the site from. Under the Top Stories section, a News for You box is introduced, which adapts to show news about the user's interests. By today, it is easily adjustable what kind of news the user would like to see more or less of. Clicking the Advanced Settings option brings us to a new page where we can choose from several additional sections or create our own. If the user is signed in with their Google account, then the option to adjust sources appears by default when they click the personalization icon. With this option, users can set how frequently they want articles to appear from specific news sources. In early 2003, the Google News interface got a Search News button next to the basic web search function. Towards the end of the year, an Advanced Search button was added next to the search bar, which about a year later turned into Advanced News Search. About two years later, News Archive Search was introduced next to the Advanced News Search. Google's News Archive has grown out of a project that scanned old printed newspapers and made them available in digital format as a historical archive. The archive's substantial part was also its timeline creation feature, which allowed users to get a timeline view of their searches. However, in 2009, about three years after the introduction of the News Archive search, the link to it was completely removed from the website. About a month later, a link to the News Timeline feature was promoted, but after one week it got removed as well. The feature could only be found now if the user clicked on the All News Articles link relating to a specific story. In the end of 2009, a so-called Living Stories feature was introduced to follow developing stories, which, together with the removal of the archive search from the front page, indicates the shift towards more real-time news coverage. In the summer of 2010, next to the Top Stories section on the right, a recent box was introduced for fresh stories, further emphasizing the turn to real-time content. In 2011, major changes were implemented. A new design was introduced that lists stories in a more feed-like manner. 
This is very likely a reaction to the rise of social networks like Facebook or Twitter that have been gaining influence in the online news sphere. By now, archive search has been completely merged with the advanced search function. That is, if the user is able to locate the icon for advanced news search, the tiny arrow in the search bar which has even been made smaller. This way searching in the archives has sort of become hidden from users.